Well, coming up Thursday night, October 1st from 7 to 8, fans should be lined up on their Zoom for the very special sports in the time of COVID. We're pleased now to have, he's the professor and director from the Franklin Pierce School of Law, Sports and Entertainment Institute, all-around sports lawyer extraordinaire. He's Michael McCann. So, Mike, thanks for coming on here. And I, I want to dive right into it. Uh, this is a fascinating topic, sports in the time of COVID. What will people be expecting to learn from Thursday Night Zoom? Well, Mike, we're certainly going to talk about how disruptive COVID has been to sports, particularly college sports. We know that it has led to the cancellation or suspension of games and uncertainty over the schedule going forward. It also raises issues of health, certainly given the risk that the virus has. Although we know that though young persons who get it seem to do exceedingly well with it, there are still lingering concerns about the long-term effects of the virus. In addition, we'll look at how it has affected recruiting. What does this do for recruiting? How do you recruit high school athletes when high school sports aren't happening in some cases? Or they're, they're happening, but there isn't the same degree of access for coaching staffs to meet with student athletes and <clears throat> see how they would fit in. Also, we'll, we'll look at the relationship between the coach and the student athlete at the college level. How has it changed? What, what does the student athlete do when there aren't games? Obviously, there's still other activities, but they're, you, as we know, they're used to a certain routine that they've had for years that now gets disrupted. So we'll look at those issues and hopefully this is just a, a situation that will resolve itself in the months ahead, but it doesn't appear that there's gonna be a resolution anytime very soon. I think one neat aspect of this, Mike, is that it's from the UNH perspective because people get their sports news from all different ways and you'll see college football being played on Saturday and say, oh, maybe this pandemic's over, but it's unique no matter what state, what school. So the fact that you're having UNH coaches and UNH student athletes makes this of particular interest to our audience. Definitely. Coach Mack, Coach Witt will be on the panel. And as you mentioned, there will be student athletes as well from those teams. So we'll get the UNH perspective, how it has been for them since the pandemic started, how the transition to the fall semester has worked in terms of restrictions and guidelines on interaction and just the basic things we can do. And you know, we've been fortunate as a university. We've done very well with the virus compared to a lot of schools, but still it, it is a risk and we'll want to talk about that risk and how we can mitigate it and how it's impacted coaches and student athletes. And I think people, there'll be some reason for excitement. Like I said earlier, people are watching sports, professional sports in their bubbles. And in the coming weeks and months, we'll see schedules. We'll see leagues announce we are prepared to play. But that's, it's not just that simple, right? Because then you're talking about the governors. You're talking about CDC, school presidents. There's just so many different levels here that people want these games to happen. We're all rooting for sports to return, but it's a very complex issue. It is a complex issue. And we saw that out west where the return of college football in California and Oregon required the governors to reinterpret gathering restrictions and other measures. A lot of laws and, and rules have been passed since March and they're designed of course to prevent the spread of the virus and as part of that restricting gatherings and restricting contact sports. Some sports are better positioned for the pandemic than others. Certainly football and hockey, given the degree of contact that's involved with those sports, there's going to be considerations at stake in terms of how will it fit with the laws, not only of New Hampshire, but other states where our student athletes play. It is complicated. And there's the local level, there's the state level, there's the federal level. And they don't all agree, as we know, as we've seen uh, in recent months. So it, it is complicated. And leads to uncertainty in some cases as to what the rules actually are. It's called sports in the time of COVID, the impact at UNH, Mike McCann will moderate. Sean McDonald will be there as the football coach, Hillary Witt, women's hockey coach. The football players also joining will be Matt Massia, offensive lineman, Carlos Washington, Jr., a running back. And then on the women's hockey side, Grace Middleton and Ellie Sasaki. It's Thursday night, October 1st from 7 to 8. You can register through unh.edu and learn more. So Mike, thanks so much. Looking forward to 
watching the Zoom and learning a lot more. You got it. Thanks, Mike, for having me. And I hope we get a good turnout.